Welcome to another Spread Cheaters video guide. You can find written instructions for these steps on the Spread Cheaters website. In this video, we're going to see how to calculate 30 days notice in Excel. In Excel, dates are stored differently from numerical and text data. Internally, Excel stores each date as the number of days since January 1st, 1900. This allows you to be able to subtract and add dates. Excel also provides a number of date formats that can display the dates in a format that is easier to understand. So when you need to calculate 30 days notice, we need to add 30 days to the date. In this example, I have a list of employees and their date of resignation. So I want to calculate their last working date based on the notice period, which is 30 days. So to do that, I'll select equals and then select the date and I'll say plus notice period, the date. The reason I am using uh, cell reference for this instead of the actual number is because then even if you change the notice period, the last working dates will be updated automatically. Now it is important that the dates here, the date of resignation, are formatted as dates. Otherwise the addition will not work correctly. Now before copying this down, I need to make the notice period cell reference constant. So I'll select that and press F4 and enter. Now I can drag this down to the rest of the cells and the notice, uh, the last working date is automatically calculated for the rest of the employees. This is how to calculate 30 days notice in Excel. Please read the appended article for further guidance.